time period like that, what did that do to your body, Jay? Oh, uh, man. Last game of the road trip, we've been going for like 13 days. Second night of a back to back. Man, what was down? 12 with three minutes left. Uh, but we found a way in. Uh, we needed that, man. Losing two in a row. Haven't been playing the best individually and as a team, but man, find a way to get back on track. That felt good. Jay, break down the bucket that you hit to send the game to overtime. Yeah, uh, he missed two free throws, and uh, we was down two, and we didn't. Want, I didn't want him to load up, so just tried to get it out, uh, find an angle, you know, get to my spot and raise up. You did that, and you guys have been struggling somewhat these last couple of games. How significant, how big was it to make sure you came in here and finished the road trip the right way? It was big. You know, it showed the true character of our team. Uh, and just, you know, bounce back. Nothing we can do about the last two, but figure it out tonight. Tell you my last question. I know you don't think about it too much, but when people are talking about MVP, they're, they're talking about you. And games like this, on a stage like this, does something for your candidacy. Do you think about that at all, as far as, like, wanting to prove that you're amongst the best? Uh, I feel like I'm the best player when I step on the court. But there's some great players in this league, man. Uh, I know I got my work cut out for me, but I just try to focus on one game at a time. You know, keep winning, keep building, and let the rest take care of itself. Go get your rest, brother. My man, appreciate it. Take care. Celtics coming off their most lopsided loss last night, led by Tatum, a three-time All-Star, a first-team All-NBA selection, and in the conversation for the MVP this season, playing for the best.